Hello, this is Libra God, aka Libra God 90. Welcome to my channel. If you are interested in seeing more funny clips by Dead by Daylight, uh, funny clips on Friday the 13th gameplay, or even on NBA 2K21, please follow me on Facebook, follow me on YouTube, and also follow me on Twitch. And y'all have a blessed day. Peace. Good morning, it's your boy Libra God 90. Hope you guys are having a blessed morning. I could not sleep, I won't lie, but I feel like sometimes when I wake up, I have some of the most amazing ideas. Just happens, right? So I actually woke up and decided to share this with people who are multi-streamers on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch through Streamlab OBS. Now, I don't necessarily know completely about other streaming softwares or even Facebook software when it comes to streaming solely on Facebook. Uh, but I've been trying to come across a video showing me how to actually change my Facebook live gaming thumbnails for a while and it just has not happened when it comes to multi streaming see if you are just solely streaming on Facebook and you are even using Streamlabs because it's free to stream on face it's, it's free to stream on Streamlabs if you are not multi streaming and if you are just streaming on Facebook you can change the thumbnails always for the like the live but you will have to use a stream key to be able to plug it into Streamlab OBS and then it would allow you to have those settings and then when you go live it's I don't know I don't know it's completely the breakdown but I do know that is part of it but then that wouldn't apply to this because when you are multi-streaming for some reason on Facebook it just won't allow you to do it when you are multi-streaming through Streamlab and to multi-stream on Streamlab it's about $21 a month and I'm a person who likes to grow on all three platforms so when I go live, I'm on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. Twitch, I still don't think you can change your thumbnail live videos on there. Um, I haven't seen it yet, but if you if you do or if you ever seen it, please let me know in the comment section. But when it comes to YouTube, you can always change it. That's what I love about YouTube. You can always change the thumbnails. You can pretty much do everything on YouTube. But let me just get down to the video because I don't want to make this too long, right? I don't want to ramble. So let's say you come across and you're like, you know what, on Facebook, I want to show people a fire thumbnail because it's just like it's advertisement, right? You know, people usually click on videos on YouTube if it's like a great looking thumbnail. It's the same thing with Facebook when it comes to streaming and videos, right? So, this is how you'll do it. I'm gonna zoom in. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. So, zooming in just to create a new scene. This is what I do. So, first off, let me just explain to people who may not know this is my control center. This is like my starting soon. These are just different scenes. You know, this is like a transition stingers. So it's a little blurry. But it's kind of bright. You know what I mean? So this is what people will see when I actually, you know, go to different scenes. So let's say if I started my uh, stream and I wanted to be like, you know, I'm starting soon. I want people to, you know, to tune in and stuff like that, right? Uh, this is what people will see. So if I started off my stream on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch, and I didn't change my thumbnail... And if I, maybe the first five to ten seconds, this is what they will see as a thumbnail for like your for your live. And I stopped doing this part because I'm like, well, you know what? Let me actually make it look better. Like I, I'm streaming Dead by Daylight, so I want people to see something that says Dead by Daylight, not just starting soon, right? Even though this do look pretty cool. I mean, it moves all of that stuff. But if you create you a scene like I just did, actually I didn't do it. Let me actually create the scene. You can name a scene whatever you like. When you create your scene, it's like a blank canvas, right? It's nothing here. You just go to, and it's right, and just to show you, it's like, you know, you go further down. It's right here, if you can see. If you just go to this plus icon right here, and then you go to image. I'm trying to focus. All right, if you just click on image, add source, right? I'm just going to. Sorry if it's like bright, but yeah, it, it says add source. I don't know why it's so illuminating like this. Okay. Now you got other images that you could use and like maybe duplicate, but I would go to add new source instead. Click that. And then click add source. And then you just go to browse, right? You just browse your files. Now this is what I'm going to use. And then it's this one right here. You see what I'm saying? So like now check this out. Now when you go to done and all of that, you just stretch to fit the screen for the transform. 
You want to go to stretch the fit screen. Or stretch to screen. And there you go. So, like, in my opinion, this is how I would do it, right? This is just me. Have this or have any type of thumbnail that you want to start the stream. Have this be the first thing that they see when you go live. For, like, maybe the first five to ten seconds. And then just, like, then you can switch it. You can change scenes. You can do whatever you like. But this is the recommendation option. And so when I want to go live, let's say I go live right now, which I won't. <laughs> if I go live right now, I guarantee you this is what they will see. And in my opinion, this actually solved the problem of uh, changing your thumbnail. So yeah, listen, if you guys found this video helpful or you still have questions, please let me know. But in my opinion, this is very simple and very easy to do, a very easy solution. And I'm going to be honest with you. I have not found this on, on YouTube yet. I have not found this on YouTube at all. Like, I found one video that got close to that question. Because, like, you'll be surprised how many people have questions that are the same as you. Yeah, like, you'll be surprised. I have not found a solution. And whenever I go live, I try to do the same thing. Like, on the, like the video game, I try to, like, pick a character I want to see. But it's just not the same. But this is a fire thumbnail. And you can go to Fiverr if you don't know how to do thumbnails. You can just go to Fiverr and pay somebody five dollars to do it, and uh, it will look it will look awesome, right? So, but listen, uh, hope you guys found this video helpful. If you do, please leave a like, share, and comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see me stream some fun video games. And also, please definitely share this video. Please, that's very important. I want everybody to see this. We need help. All right, take care and peace.